everyone. My name is Hector Mendoza. I've been posting some things in, on YouTube about civility, and basically uh, what I've put in today was uh, setting up preferences, creating new claims, taking ownership of the claims in civility, entering basic info, uh, creating a diagram in civility, creating a new diagram in civility, and my defined rooms. So now that we have showed you how to do rooms, I'm going to show you how to add doors and windows to it. It's a little bit different than Xactimate. So let's uh, get straight to it. <clears throat> so, you know, you can create a room. And so, in Simbility, it's not like uh, Xactimate where you hit R and you could put a, a room or W for a window. Here, you have to select the uh, room. Okay, now you have the wall editor and the ceiling editor. Okay, so now if I click here, it gives me the same thing but different. Okay, so if I click here and I uh, put a door, if I click here on this door, it's going to put it set, set in the mirror. Uh, middle. You see, I'm going to select this one. I'm going to put a window and going to put it right in the middle. Same thing here. I'm going to put a window and I'll put it right in the middle because that's where I'm selecting. Here, I'm going to create a, a missing wall. It's called an opening. So I'm going to click here and it creates it right in the middle. Okay, so with Symbility, one thing I do like about Symbility versus Xactimate, Symbility, you can go back 20 times. So I can hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, Control Z, 20 different times. In Xactimate, five times. That's it. I don't know uh, why, but, you know, that's one thing I do like about um, Symbility. So another way that I can put rooms, excuse me, walls and windows, if I right click, you see, I'm going to right click right here. I, wherever I click, it's going to center that wall, uh, that door or window. So I'm going to right click, and then I'm going to tell it add door. See, it put it in the vicinity instead of selecting this, entering the door, putting it in the middle. I got more control now. Of course. You know, you can go in there and move this stuff around later, but if you're trying to get this thing done real quick and you don't care that it's one feet further, but you know it's down here, you hit right click, uh, add door. So now, that's how you add windows and doors, one way. Another way, let's delete, delete. Delete. Just like an Xactimate, you have a 2D, you got a 2D here. So if I click on this window and I go to the wall editor, now you see it's similar to Xactimate. Now you got a 2D version of that wall. So if I click here, it's the right side of the wall of that room. If I click here, excuse me, left. Here's the right side, this is the back side, this is the front side. Now, so let's say I'm I'm on this side of the wall. Here, I want to add a wall, uh, a window and a door. All I got to do, click on window. It, it puts it in the center. Then you can modify the way you want, okay? And then you can move it around anywhere you want. So if I want to add a door, it's going to Put it that set in the middle. Now let's add. I'm gonna add another window. It's gonna put it right on top of it. Well, no, it can't because there's a door there. But it would have put it in the middle if it wasn't there. So I can get the corners, and and proportionately, they they usually will proportionally enlarge and reduce. 
or I can make them flat. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> when I'm drawing these windows, so this is a three by three. This is a. I'm gonna make this a three by three too. Okay. So if I'm down here. If I move this up, there's a window here. So if I move this window up, look what's going to happen. You see how it's snapped? It's aligning up to this one right here. It snaps to that one. So you can have a bunch of them, and they kind of, uh, uh, you know, they snap to each other vertically. So now, uh, so you know, I have a window and a door, and let's say I want a window down here, or I, I I like I like the preferences that I set. You know, I set it to a three by three. I can hit Control C, and I can click here on this side of the wall, and I can hit Control V. Three by three. It's going to send put it in the center, but it still copied the size that I wanted. Or and not just that, but let's say that I didn't want a picture window. I wanted a, a, a half elliptical. So I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to put it on the, the same thing. Hit Control V. See, keeps the preferences. Okay, now um, so to get back to your plan. 1D, what I consider 1D plan, all you have to do, or oh, before we even move out of there, here, here's your preferences to your uh, windows. So, you know, you can tell it, you know, what kind of material you want. Uh, if you want it tinted, low E, uh, argon. Now this is one thing I do like about the accessibility is that you know when, with Exacto Mate when you put a window it just puts a picture of it. It's not actually inserting a window. Uh, now it, it could go either way anyway. But to hear some of your options that you have, uh, you know you can uh, make it a quarter round, whatever you know. So. I wanted to for for you to show that this is where your preferences are. Now to get back to the 1D, you're gonna go to floor plan. Come on, floor plan, you can do it. Takes a while. There you go. Now, and with, with with this, you don't have. See, I mean, you, you can hit floor plan, but uh, you don't have, you know, uh, 3D. You do have it, but it, I got to show it to you later because it's uh, you have to create a 3D, and I and I'm going to show you all that in in a different uh, uh, video. Okay, so <clears throat> let me see what else I can show you. Showed you about doors. I showed you about 3D. Um, uh, then you know you you have different views. Actually, I, I really don't want to get into this. This because uh, this is going to be a whole uh, video. So I just wanted to show you how to do those doors and do them in different uh, different types. You know, like the right clicking. Going in here. Now you see, right now it's not letting me do too much. It's because the view that I'm in. Okay, so if I go to view, oh, excuse me, go back to home. Um, see, oh, all you got to do is just really click on on, on this right here. And then it it gives you that point the pointer because uh, earlier I couldn't do nothing. So if you get to that point, all you got to do is just click on that, and it gives you that pointer back. Okay, so that's all that I want to talk about on on uh, windows and doors. So I'll have another video 
that's going to explain a lot more of this other stuff that you're going to see up here, like your rotations, your mirror flipping. Uh, so just uh, look out for my videos, and you'll see a lot of other, a lot of other, uh, a lot, a lot of other videos in Simbility. Thank you for watching. Here's my email address. If you ever have a question or concerns, or you know you want me to show you better explain what I'm doing, you can email me. And you can even call me. You know, you email me, ask me for my telephone number, I'll give it to you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to me.